What's up everybody, it's again Ashish from Ashri Creation and welcome back to yet another tutorial. Well guys, today in this video I'm gonna show you how you can edit your pre-wedding photos in Photoshop and by changing the background. So a whole process would be explained in this video. So guys, before any further ado, let's get straight into the video. Till then guys, be creative and be awesome. So guys the very first thing all you have to do is let's just crop the image or let's select the photo by using the quick selection tool and just click on this plus icon to make the subject or the model image to select it in a proper way. You can either use pen tool to use us. Select it in a proper way. Click on the minus icon to make a you know deselection over the portion where you want. Now you can press ctrl j from the keyboard to make a duplication of the image. Now let's add the background so go to the file click on open and let's just browse the background this background you can just download it from the links down given in the description or directly from our website. So just open this background and just drag it and drop over here. Just adjust the background in such a way that it should look more realistic and original. You can adjust it by your way. Now let add a layer mask on this image or the background image. Select the brush tool and just select the black color and just delete it from this portion of the area because it should be merged with the you know background so with the original image so we gonna just you know delete it from this layer so that it may look more realistic and original. Now go to the blending mode and select the drop shadows of this you know model image because we want to add a drop shadows so we are gonna just add it so just right click on it and select the blending mode blending option select the drop shadow and you can just add just the drop shadow from here select the opacity and just hit ok Now just right click on this layer style, create a layer so the next new layer would be created of the shadows. So just convert it to smart object now just to rasterize to layer so it would be a separate layer. Now go to the free transform or select the control T to transform it. Just drag it and just invert it. Now you can just play with this you know layer. The main key thing is to you know add a very perfect and original shadow so we gonna just make it as it is nice just like this way so this one is looking quite good change the blending mode to soft light now this one is looking very very original and realistic. Now you can erase it from the unwanted area where you don't want these shadows. <coughs> so select the eraser and just delete it from the area where you don't actually need this one. Now this one is looking very original guys now let's crop the image so select the crop tool and just crop the area where you want to crop here we have done the cropping of the image 
Select the you know brush tool and just select the orange color of the brush and just add a stroke of the of that brush below the you know, subject layer or the model image. It should look like you know original sun rays. So we're gonna just make it just like this way by adding it and just change the blending mode to screen. Again, create new layer and just pick the orange red color from the color tab and just make uh, you know one stroke of it change the blending mode to screen just place it somewhere over here so that it may look more realistic editing again let's just create new layer this should you have to create about the subject layer so we are gonna just change the blending mode to screen now this one is looking very very amazing guys so you can see the difference the stroke should be coming on the hairs that is the key thing now we're gonna just add a little bit on the you know hairs of the female model so just again create new layer and just add a one stroke of the brush change the blending mode to screen just place it on the hair region create a clipping mask so that it would only be affected on the hairs you can just decrease the opacity now just merge all the layers right click on it and select merge layers again let's just crop the image once again so you can see the difference it is really looking very very realistic now we're gonna just go to the filter select the camera filter and just play with this all the you know saturation and tools this is totally up to you or you can also apply the preset directly but I am just adjusting the every kind of you know color saturation from here so you can just adjust it by your way If, if the contrast is needed you can just add a contrast you can just take with a little bit of you know highlights or if you want to increase you can just increase the shadows just decrease or increase the whiteness you can just decrease the blackness from the image add a vignette on the image to make it look more you know moody and cinematic You can add the shadows whatever you know it is looking more original you can just edit the shadows over there <coughs> also you can just add the highlights only a little bit to kind of you know, you know orange type you can just add a matte effect if you want really but i don't think it is needed much so i'm gonna not add a bit of you know just adding a little bit of you know matte effect would be pretty much perfect from the rgb curve select the blue and just add a cross processing look on the image 
you can add a little bit of no sharpness on the image to make it look more you know 4k like photograph you can play with this blue color blue color you know saturation of the hue to make it look more teal or either the blue color and you have to make sure that the skin tone should be very very perfect it should remain perfect so you have to you know keep that in mind so just hit ok so you can see the difference it is really looking very very amazing so guys i hope you all have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just hit the like button and if you still not subscribe then subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of our videos and presets also visit our website that is www.ashurecreations.com from there you can download backgrounds camera preset lightroom preset loops and many more other editing stuff for free also check out the filter preset.com that we gonna launch soon also follow me on instagram just type as you reason so guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video till then guys be creative be awesome